SEGA. Eternal City. I have seen the end of days, and years from now men will say, here began the fall of Rome. from the many and given to the few. Those who wore the golden wreath grew sick with every kind of wickedness. They were filled with greed, deceit and malice. They condemned and enslaved friends and murdered those they loved. They did all this and called it just. And I saw in his hand a book sealed with seven seals, the first of which was broken. Behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and he went forth to conquer. filled with smoke and blood. Hello, everybody! To this amazing day! Oh my god, my blue screen. Um... Oh well! Who cares? For now. This amazing day of Twitch hype! Twitch hype. Oh hey, I'm getting help. Thank you. <laughs> Twitch hype. The crew is here. It seems alright. There's Bookfish. Hey, I did it I did it right the first time. <laughs> Excellent. Hello Caesar from Hell Zool Echo. PH for science. Hello everyone to this amazing day. So, so amazing. There's so much, so much Twitch hype going on right now. Nominom, -nom, one of the greatest streamers I've ever seen. Um, who is who I'm glad to call a teammate on the uh, on my own team. He is, uh, has made hidden gems. Has made hidden gems. Um, just just really amazing for any of you who don't know hidden gems hidden gems is the team that will take on 10 streamers at a time and um, just catapult them to partnership like they try to promote them so much that they will hit partnership and nom made it today and then there is of course the one year of my stream today I've been, well this channel has been active on Twitch so to speak, I haven't streamed every day but this channel has been active on Twitch for 365 days and for humans that number of days is a celebration, it's worth a celebration. Um, and then of course there is the release 
of Attila to the War. Can this day be any better? Can this day become even more hype? I'm so like, I'm shaking from all the hype. It's, it's amazing and it's really cool. Um, thank you for the compliment, Caesar. And uh, yeah, a mother humping year. Who would have thought that after a year I would still be streaming with... Well, who would have thought that after a year I would be having such a great community and uh, people around here that would watch the stream. I started with zero viewers, zero followers, zero views on the channel and it has grown into an, this amazing community and yeah I'm so thankful, so hyped uh, that I was able to do that because when I started out I thought it was just you know just for fun I'll do it every once in a while and you know if there are some friends coming along then yeah that's cool but this channel has made me new friends and uh, it has given me the ability to meet awesome people and it's just so it's just become so much more than I expected and that's so really really amazing so yeah Let's hope for another cool 365 days because I won't be giving this up of course. Now I have seen nothing of this game, absolutely nothing. This is the first time I'm starting it up. I was, I heard from a lot of sources that the release date would be, uh, that the release date would be tomorrow because they shoved it one they shoved it one day forward I was like what the hell how can they you know how can they shove a day one or a game one day forward what what's the what's the meaning of like I understand a month but like one day what the hell but apparently when I started up steam to like check out which game I was going to play for this cast uh, you know instead of this one I saw that it was currently installing Attila I was like what the hell is this so let's just wait it out and see if the game starts and um, there you go uh, no Caesar I heard from uh, different news sources that in the EU Attila would release on the 18th instead of the 17th and it's still the 17th, which is I don't know where those new sources got, where those new sites got their sources from, but they were wrong, and I'm glad they were. I'm glad they were. I'm glad I can celebrate. Um, I'm glad I can celebrate one year of this channel with the game that is honestly my favorite game to stream. The Total War franchise is definitely my favorite game to stream, as you might have already noticed if you're a longer time follower of this channel. Um, I've been streaming a lot of Total War in the past. I'm, I've almost hit 100 Total War vi uh, videos on my YouTube channel. Um, which is uh, another small milestone. But yeah, I've been streaming a lot of Total War on this channel. and. Uh, it's only going to be more from here on out. So, having not seen this game, I'm kind of tempted to play the prologue. I don't know if you guys wanted to see it. I mean, we've got 10 hours with this game, so there's lots of time. But I don't know. Let me know if you guys are interested in the prologue, because uh, I would love to see it. I'm always very interested, they always, you know, it is a tutorial, yes, and we all know Total War, or at least I know Total War, uh, but um, I, I like it how they all wrap, always wrap it up in a little story, which is pretty cool. Or we could just start the Grand Campaign, I mean, I'm up, I'm up for anything, pray what you want, cool, and prologue it is. Oh god, it's giving me a tutorial on the loading screen. I, ho I hope this game is like... Stable and everything, because... On the Steam screen it said... That it was... That it, it had a small like warning icon. 
like, oh my god. Oh, please, please work, but so far, so good. <laughs> Let's check this out. Over the course of this stream, I'll be checking out a few different factions uh, in the Grand Campaign. You know, just exploring around, see what this game has to offer. Hey, Jamon, what's up, man? It is AD 370, almost 400 years since the formation of the Empire. Previously unchallenged in the Mediterranean, Rome is no longer the power it once was. The Romans now find themselves so beset that the Empire itself has split in two. From its seat in Mediolanum, the corrupt and elitist Western Senate struggles against military revolts and continuous barbarian raids in the north. The Eastern Court, ruled from Constantinopolis, must contend with religious turmoil and the threat of the Sassanids in the east. Yet unknown to either, a greater menace approaches the Roman world. The Huns are coming, and those in the path of the Hordes are faced with a stark choice, whether to flee or to die. Already engaged in a struggle of their own, the Goths will soon face this decision. What began as a civil war between Gothic nations will end with their permanent displacement into Roman lands, Huns at the borders of the Empire, and an Emperor lying dead on the battlefield. Straight into battle. <laughs> That's how I like my tutorials. Boom. Straight into the action. It immediately allows us to check out uh, the one thing that has been pestering me in Rome 2. The one thing. Unit cohesion. Did they finally fix? Please, please. Creative Assembly and Sega. Did you finally fix unit cohesion? Can we finally see the killing animations? The 1000 or so killing animations you added to Rome 2. Please, please let this be true. Hopefully. Oh, I need to click start button. Sorry. Olbia, on the Black Sea coast, is the principal settlement of the Visigothic people. The Visigothic soldiers are on full alert. The latest battle of a long civil war is looming. The Ostrogoths, a rival faction of the Gothic peoples, are attacking once again. Olvia's defenses must hold against the Ostrogoth attack if the Visigoths are to survive. Uh, the Ostrogoths yeah. present themselves, Chieftain. Their warriors are too numerous to count. See for yourself. Uh, yes, Caesar. Um, during the Rome 2 development, basically what happened? During the Rome 2 development, they uh, said that they had added a thousand new mo capped killing animations. A thousand, you know, uh, counting, you know, cavalry versus infantry, infantry versus infantry, like spread out across them, not thousand for each. Oh, PH for science, thank you for the host, man. Uh, like, you know, a thousand spread across the entirety of the possible matchups. But what happened, uh, I'm sure you've seen it yourself if you've been playing it, which I assume you did, is that unit cohesion makes it so that when two Roman units crash, you get uh, you get blobbing, right? Because they crash into each other and everyone like packs into each other, and that makes it unable to see um, these killing animations. Uh, and I'm sure a thousand is a bit over over exaggerated, um, but it will be it makes you unable to see those killing animations. Now, if you look at Rome one. If you start up Rome 1, if that's possible, or you look at a Rome 1 YouTube video where you see two units crash, you'll see there's, that there's always a bit of spread between the units, even if they crash into each other and it doesn't blob up. Um, which makes you able to see, you know, the fighting while they didn't have killing moves there. It would be really cool if they had implemented the unit cohesion from Rome 1 
into this game. <laughs> I'm really hoping because that's the only thing that really bothered me uh, about Rome 2. Alright, WASD. Hold down shift to move the camera fast. Hey, I didn't know that one. Our forces are ready, Chieftain. That's it. They have sworn to a man that no Ostrogoth shall set foot in Albia. So basically, I'm really hoping they improve that in this edition. Alright. Inspect the point. Oh. Yep, those are our enemies. Our enemy attack with swords and spears. They mean to sack our town, but they come on foot. It will be a short while before they are upon us. The Ostrogoths seem content to sit outside the town, taunting us. Let us go to them before they change their minds and attack. Select unify left click. Select the Mm-hmm. Oh god, they're going to run again. Is running the default movement again? Oh god. That's also one thing that bothers me about the Total Wars is that running is the default movement. The Ostrogoths are advancing. Hurry to meet them on high ground, Chieftain. Fighting downhill will aid our defense. Press the RP. Yeah, we're already running. So. Alright, see you later, Caesar. Thanks for dropping Remember by. Remember that help and advice is available as we advance into battle, Chieftain. Learn to rely upon it. No problem, Caesar, no problem. Thank you for dropping by, man. Encyclopedia. Paused oh. with the P key, really. Interesting. Hmm. So far, I like the Empire tutorial better, though. I hope they would have done something like an empire with a whole like story and stuff, but eh, we'll see. Yeah, this still looks the same. They definitely used the same engine and didn't improve uh, unit graphics and stuff. Not that they needed much improvement, <laughs> but. Can't wait to see Warriors, the new campaign draw your swords. Feature. Ten solid eye to the one who brings in the head of the enemy commander. Uh, yep. Ready for battle. Draw swords. Attack. All right, now we're going to see it, guys. What unit cohesion be fixed? Try to maintain a battle line. Do not let them surround us. Our warriors fight best with the enemy to the front. Uh oh. Soldiers are no match for our men. They begin to flee. Oh shit. Oh no. We're going to flank here. Hello everyone. It's a bit loud on my end. Pull back, men! Pull back! The 
Ostrogoths have flanked us and are attacking the town. Defend your homes. The town defenders are now under your control, Chieftain. Unite your forces and drive out the invaders. Do not let the town fall. Lead. Cool. You fit some sort of phalanx mode? Cool. Be sure to position your troops accurately in battle, Chieftain. Have each unit cover the flank of the next. Forward! Move this way. Something tells me we got, we're not gonna make it in time. Men of Germania! Alright, wish I had a third one so I could put it here. Or are they stopping? Reinforcements arrive by sea. Direct them to land on shore. They will be needed at once. Oh hey look, forest burning. That's interesting. Uh oh, here they come! Where are my reinforcements? Intercept those guys. Chieftain, word reaches us that these raiders are Huns, a people from the east, no doubt in the pay of the Ostrogoths. Let us show them our fighting skills. The oh, Huns yeah. will rue the day George they Riley. made a pact against us. Swordsman, swords! carry missiles to hurl at the enemy. Keep them protected and put them where they can do the most damage. Wait, they're already in range? Good range these guys have. Good range these guys have. Sound a little bit like Yoda there. Screw the spear formation, just go, 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 go. Okay, that looks a bit weird. Shoot like this. Okay, the arrows go up like that. Yeah, they go up way more than they aim. They should be actually standing like this. Alright, people are dying, but 
skewed. Say the unit blooming is a bit better than the road. But Another not 100%, attack. Yeah. The Huns advance under cover of forest. Ready your weapons once again. Oh then. man. They don't stop attacking. <laughs> right, where'd I come Your Strigoths must have deep pockets to buy all this support. Our warriors begin to tire. Be sure to rest them when you can. Oh. Alright. I can rest him at some point, but not now. Not now. He will be in position. Oh, they're still also firing on flame troops. Fine. Oh, shit. The cavalry, though, can it outmaneuver? The enemy attack mainly on horseback. Catch and engage them with spearmen. Oh shit, we're not in position, we're not in position. Oh no! We are not in position. Not at all. This is not good. away we have victory victory let's drink to it 
Let us drink to victory. All right, cool. First battle done, guys. Awaken from your slumber, chieftain. Much needs to be done. We may have won the battle, but the war turns against us. Campaign map. Mm-hmm. Yes. Dark clouds gather on every horizon, chieftain. Survey the map for yourself. I'm surveying the map. The survivors of the Ostrogothic army retreat towards their territory. What they lack in martial skill, they make up for in numbers. Even now, they prepare another force to send against us. Aw, shit. Hey, welcome back, Caesar. Oh, by the way, guys, by the way, I totally forgot. I've got a channel announcement coming uh, up today. There's going to be a new feature in the channel. I'm so hyped. I'm, of course, not going to say it now. It's going to be somewhere in the middle, you know, when we're... In the middle of celebrations, I'll be, uh, if you guys could, <laughs> if, I, if I don't forget, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll probably do a, uh, do a channel announcement somewhere in the middle of, uh, celebrations, somewhere like, in about, like, four hours or something, maybe. Which is, uh, which is gonna be really cool. Okay, so we need to move the camera, yes. Examine positions of importance. Oh, okay. Why is this important? The land sustains us and defends us. Dense forests and rivers provide us with natural protection from our enemies, restricting their avenues of approach. <laughs> if you can remember. Thanks, Toby. <laughs> The Huns are nomadic warriors from the eastern steppes of which we know little. They fight on horseback and wander the land, raiding and pillaging as they go. Another force has been sighted close to our territory. They will regret the day they sought employment against the Visigoths. Um, yeah, that's, that's one thing I really want to check out in this game. It's probably the one thing that I'll be doing after the prologue, is starting up a playthrough with a wandering horde. The uh, horde mechanics, they have been explained. I only saw like a bit of the Creative Assembly stream where they uh, showed horde mechanics and uh, showed um, like how they worked. Um, but I'm really interested in them. So it's, it's quite probable that I'll be starting up a campaign with a horde faction after this tutorial because I really would love to see how it works in, uh, in theory. Hey, Philip and Angoriel, what's up, man? Yep, Twitch anniversary hype and Attila released! Yes! Attila release hype as well. I can all celebrate it in one big stream. Everything is well in the world. That means our appointment can go forward, Philip, tomorrow evening. No stream tomorrow evening. Um, because everything can just go on in one big stream. It's gonna be amazing. <coughs> Albia's defenses remain damaged after the enemy attack and will take time to restore. The Ostrogoths will launch further raids from the direction of their settlement at Petrodava. We must be ready. What? Not everything? What? Ready for orders! What happens? <laughs> Our oh man. Mm -hmm. Um what do we need to do? Yes, we did this. Oh. Okay. It is clear that the Ostrogoths have paid off the Huns to work against us, and that they intend to march against us once more. We are forced to defend ourselves against attacks from both sides. Our army will be best able to defend us from within our town. Move it there. Okay. How to move an army, oh my god. Good. With our warriors in place, any attack on Olbia will be met by the full force of our army. Our forces are depleted, Chieftain, yet more men stand ready to defend their homes against the invaders. Let us begin to train them now, so they are prepared when the enemy arrives. Yes, this is all... 
Recruit some units. Fight um, with us! It's a good life! How much gold do I have? I don't even know what gold, what ah. gold I have. Okay, I'm taking the most expensive one. Are you because, ready to do you know, recruits we don't will have begin their training here. immediately, Chieftain? We have done all that we can to strengthen and prepare the army. Let us also look at fortifying our position. I love this guy though. Better than the than the advisor Roar! from um, Rome 2. This is way better. I think so. Okay. Settlements could be yes, we know that. A desolate province? You can destroy and create settlements. That's cool. Put the townsfolk to work upgrading the settlement defenses while we wait out the enemy. The Walls erected around the town will prove useful when they attack again. All right. Oh, I like how they show in-game as well. The in-game image of what it looks like. That's pretty cool as well. Good. With luck, the walls will be ready before any attack comes. Cool. Fortress. The workshop was damaged in the battle and needs to be repaired if we are to use it for armor. Yep. Repairs to the workshop will commence immediately, Chieftain. We have done all that we can for now. There is nothing else to do but await the enemy advance. I'm interested in this desolate thing. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Send a unit here to re repopulate the area. Mm hmm. I like this mechanic. Or something. It's, go it's gotta be something. It's gotta be something. Something around that. Those lines that's cool destroy the entire what's your objective destroy the entire world leave no settlement to lie cool <laughs> the enemy close in from both sides let us hope our defenses are ready in time the new recruits are ready to serve in battle let us train more while we await the enemy attack. <laughs> My God, fella. It's morning. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, let more. Oh, we need to train more units. I'm taking the most expensive ones because we don't have any gold. Warriors all! And the roll melee. Very light pike. Very light spear. Light axe. Yeah, we're just fight with us. It's a the, good life. The recruits will begin the their training immediately. The price of their training and upkeep will be met from the treasury. Do not let such matters concern you at present. If we are to die, let us fight them all the way. Hang the expense. Are shown in the user interface. Yeah, they're not shown. Unless they're shown somewhere else. Hmm. Oh. We must seek ways to improve our methods of war if we are to survive the coming battles. Let us put men to work on improving our knowledge and tactics. If I had an astral fill emote at this point, I I would say, come on, spam it in chat. I mean, there's always pale fish. You could, you you could always pale fish. I was so focused. On this goddamn like like Rome 2 mechanic of <laughs> it being <laughs> displayed here, and then it's like, oh hey, it's up here, yeah, you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, well, it's up here, guys. Look at that. Uh. Okay, we must seek ways to improve. Blah, blah, blah. Start researching a technology. Oh, that's still here at least. Thank the gods. Yep. Regional Defense Force. 
Mm-hmm. That's what we want. Okay. Good. In time, the knowledge they will gain will surely aid our cause. For now, we can do nothing but wait for the enemy to arrive. Oh, there's a fail Oh, man. A fail moment on my anniversary. The very first channel fail. What is this? The Huns have attacked the Ostrogoths and defeated them utterly. We are spared. It is clear that the Huns and the Ostrogoths are not working together as we suspected. The Huns are to be feared, and we cannot afford to be unprepared if they come in force. We must finish our war with the Ostrogoths, for they are weak after their defeat. Let us attack! Thank you, Echo. Thank you. <laughs> Nine summers have passed since the Ostrogoths launched their first attack. That strike was launched from Petrodava. The time for us to strike back in vengeance against them. Oh, the time is right for us to strike back in vengeance against them. <laughs> A list of strategic objectives is maintained for you. Be sure to make use of it, Chieftain. Capture this mother trucking settlement. Ooh. Cultural, military. Divine Triumph? Control 100 settlements. Defeat 40 factions. 40 factions! Or subject, okay. Maintain control of all the provinces. Loot and sack different settlements. Maintain units in total. Construct the seven following buildings. Research 40 technologies. Hold at least one settlement in 20 provinces, which is your religion dominant. Produce the following amount of wealth from all buildings. Okay. That's interesting. For a moment there, I thought Divine Triumph. Oh my god, they brought back to victory conditions from Medieval 2. One can only dream. Medieval 2 was the own. No, not Medieval 2. What am I saying? Medieval 1. Medieval 1. Medieval 1. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm referring to Medieval 1. Um... That was the only game in the Total War franchise that actually had a victory condition that did not include conquer X amount of stuff. Uh, it was a very peaceful victory condition where you didn't need to have any war at all. Um, I know this is Total War and you know war is its focus, but I was always uh, pleased with the fact that they still had like this this extra victory objective that you could go for if you felt like it so for a moment there I was like divine triumph yes they brought it back but no it's conquer shit it's basically uh, domination cultural and economic combined in one <laughs> pretty much Philip and there's also Nami Philip don't forget there's also the Nami hype we shouldn't forget the Nami hype Making it into hidden gems. There's definitely that as well. Good. The men are prepared to go on the offensive now that their homes are safe from immediate danger. They await your command. <clears throat> yes, we know zones of control. Oh yeah, I've got all the original. This is the first total war that I do not have on disc. Because I wanted to have it in time to stream. That's the only reason why I didn't buy the physical the copy. Settlement. I have every Total War on disc twice. Except for Rome 2, I only have that one once. Because New I bought... units may only be recruited by an army in controlled territory. Mercenaries, however, may be enlisted in any location. We should consider hiring additional strength as our campaign progresses. Uh, yeah, because I bought every Total War originally. And then I bought the uh, Eras collection, Eras Collector, um, which uh, includes all the Total Wars up to Rome 2. So I've got everything twice. I did, but I bought it for the art book and the making of DVDs and the whole bonus shebang that was with it. 
Uh, yeah, Philip, Nomi is in is accepted into Hidden Gems. <clears throat> that that was the hype. The hype is that Nomi was accepted into Hidden Gems. Inspect the available list. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, yes, uh, the supply of mercenaries in the area is... Oh, that, I already know that. Yep, 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 I already know that. Uh, I think we need some ranged power with this. Uh, so let's do a mercenary Germanic Hunters. Do we actually need to recruit stuff? Okay, I'm assuming we need to recruit stuff. Add a bit to the. Uh... Hey, Cibrix, what's up, man? How have you been? How have you been enjoying this game? I saw you play it earlier. I was like, oh my god! I started up Steam, and was like, what am I going to play today? Because it like, comes out tomorrow. Because Cibrix said so. And then all of a sudden, I saw this little puff up go. Cibrix is playing Attila Total War, and I went like, no way, no freaking way. So I like quickly ran to my download uh, folder. And it was there, like you know, like the download folder in Steam where you see all the downloads. And it was like saying like Attila Total War. And I was like, oh my god, I pressed it in queue. I was like, I'm going to delay the stream until this thing is done. And here I am, playing Attila. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Thanks for, uh... <laughs> Thanks for telling me that it would only release Ready tomorrow. <laughs> the men have marched all they can, Chieftain. They must rest. Uh... All right, have fun, Caesar. Have fun. Um, yes. And End the two. Oh God, it's Information about current events and the wider world is available should you seek it. Be sure to keep your ear to the ground for happenings abroad. Your ear to the ground? A well defended coastline keeps the wolves from the door. Mm hmm. Cool. Community property. Uh, yeah, sure, yes, we know this menu, it just moved from here to here, they just moved it up, it's now no longer below my chat window, it's now above my chat window, okay, that's fine. Ready for battle! Attack. We take the, for the, the defenders of Petrodava cower behind their walls at the size of the army we have brought before them. Let us attack without delay. Pre-battle screen. Uh, is there something I don't know about this? Nope. Nothing new on this uh, screen. Let's go. Now I'm always checking. Oh my god, is there something new? I know, I don't know. Something they added, something they changed, something they they did. The Etunas Slayers. Winter's Mist. Well, it's winter, and we're attacking with Winter's Mist. What can you do? Chieftain, the right weather can be the difference between victory and defeat. The choice of when to attack is yours to make. Hmm. I'm thinking fog, I'm thinking fog. The towers won't be able to sh I always like fog when attacking cities. The men are ready to deploy for battle, Chieftain. They await your orders. They, um... Uh... Fork, make sure that the towers won't be able to fire on your troops as fast. Um, which is what I like. Sam. 
Oh man, I'm so hyped for today, man. Jeez. It's so cool. It's just... It's, uh... It's so well-timed. With the, uh, the release and Nami and this, you know. It's just... It couldn't be better. Could not have been timed better. Oh, I like how it turns red if you can't actually do it instead of disappearing. That's cool. Battle group ready. Break oh, mission. and it does the un oh god, yeah, cool. It it, do it doesn't lock automatically. Parlors. That is nice as well. Group now, if only they didn't run with one click. If only they had walk as the default move option. Draw your weapons, men, and keep your wits about you. Each of you has skills that can turn the tide of battle. Use them wisely. Now, advance. The terrain conceals the enemy movements, Chieftain. We must be wary. General can sway this battle, Chieftain. His word can rally and inspire What's the this? men before you. Use his influence. Who are these guys? Why are they running? Why are they scared as shit? No way. No way, they... They got citizens into this? They got citizens on the freaking battlefield? Is that what I'm seeing? Like, like people who live there? That's cool. That certainly adds. them find cover or eradicate the source. Charge. Germania. Oh, whatever it is they're coming from. This guy. Frank. No, that's a Frank. No, I'm not sure if I'm uh, too familiar with the fight uh, after ancient Rome. I'm more of an ancient Rome history guy and not the. Uh, our men will fire at will without orders to the contrary, Chieftain. Have them conserve their ammunition if you so wish. Fallen chieftain, his loss will hit the army hard. The enemy general is fallen. Spearman! Alright, everyone. 
Everyone's general's dead. The enemy general has been dragged to the ground and run through. Word of his death will spread through the enemy and do our work for us. You didn't kill the kill the channels. Uh, I'm pretty sure the channel's still alive. Farmers! Chieftain, the enemy close with spearmen. Engage them at close range. I am. I am. Victory is ours. Petrodarva has been claimed for the Gothic people. Tonight, we celebrate. Ah. Again. We celebrate once God's again. Be good. We are moments away from victory! We are at victory, oh my god. We're moments away from victory! Petra Darba is ours. We can take our revenge against these people, finally. Loot the town, and the world will see that the Visigoths will not be rolled over. Loot and occupy. You gain money from looting, but buildings and settlements are damaged. Your well, captives are enslaved, public order is greatly reduced, and your diplomatic relations with the previous owner also suffer greatly. Okay. What sec? Can we can we read this? You do not capture the settlement, but steal treasures and damage buildings. All well, captives are killed. Public order is reduced, and the previous owners will like you a lot less. Yeah. No shit. Occupy. You peacefully occupy the settlement and all captives are released. Oh, that's interesting. You have two ways of occupying. Cool. Raise. All buildings are destroyed and the settlement is torched. <laughs> Alright, look. Do it. Um, yeah, hey, he's a sage. Nice. Cool. For the tribe! This is. Your commanders grow as men with each victory, Chieftain. Well, he died. Be sure to guide their development to your advantage. Like my new general? Oh shit, did I have to keep him alive? Um, yeah, this is all the same, right? Authority, cunning zeal, yup. Uh, age, influence. Oh god, did they, did they keep that the same? <clears throat> oh hey, there's lo loyalties back. Look at that. Loyalties back. The character will be fat. Instigate it some more. Hey Maximus, what's up, man? How are you doing? Got a wife and everything, cool. The Hunter. Food fry from characters. Mm, nice. Infantry commander. Cool. I've done so. Uh, game. Game. I've done so. I'm done. Game. Game. I have. I've selected my general. Look, here's my general. I know the other general died. I ready for orders. I know the other. Oh. 
Cool. Huh, I didn't bork the tutorial. Thank We have captured Petrodava, but our enemy remains threatened. The capital Apulum lies close enough to pose a danger to our new possession. If we are to break the Ostrogoths completely, it too must fall. It is well defended, however. We must build our forces. All right. Sephrax Suc succeeding. Fritigare. The High King is dead and the mantle of leadership has been passed. Long live the High King. Nine summers have passed since the Ostrogoths launched their first attack. That strike was launched from Petrodava. The time is right for us to strike back in vengeance. We have captured Petrodava, but the enemy remains a threat. Their capital, Apelum, is close enough to be dangerous to us. If we are to break the Ostrogoths completely, it too must fall. This tutorials are off for that darkest dungeon. Those that survive in Petrodava now agitate against our rule. We must find ways to placate them if we are to keep hold of the settlement and maintain our push against the Ostrogoths. The inhabitants of Petrodava can scarcely restrain their animosity towards our men, hurling insults and excrement as they pass. They must be pacified if we are to secure the town in the long term. 10% public order. Is that... <laughs> I can't... Oh my god, thanks. Is that a percentage these days? Interesting. While lacking the glamour of battle, yeah, holding court on civic matters is a useful way to spend your time, chieftain. Province management is essential if your kingdom is to remain stable. Yeah, I suck at province management. We saw that in uh, King of the Britons episode last time. Alright, the province details... <clears throat> Inspect the province details panel. There we go. Oh, it all moved. Oh my god, this interface. Public order here is low, chieftain. You must take steps to placate the people, lest they take up arms against us. Governor appointed. Few family tree. Yes. The family tree is back. Mm -mm. The family tree is back. Mm -mm. Excellent. Financial incentives may help appease the citizens of Petrodava towards our rule, chieftain. A reduction in tax levels or a provincial tax break will surely warm us to them. Factions raising them. Open the tree. Oh my god. Greetings, fine people of Twitch. I hope all is well. Currently on the wagon desk and not partake in the viewing of the magnificent astral seer. Fear not, for within a poultry 15 minutes I shall be set in front of my typing communication contraption. And I shall partake in the festivities as best I can. While also attending a meeting and working. Cool. Well, you can't hear me, so... I'll greet you in 15 minutes. Trade and finance. Yeah, I Oh, thank god, something that looks the same. Um... Reduce the tax rate. Wait, the entire tax rate? Oh my god. There you go. I reduce the tax rate. The situation in Petrodava may be relieved with the appointment of a province governor, chieftain. Promote a member of your court to the position, and they can enact so cool. edicts to calm the population. Only mere moments until total war crosses into Crusader King's territory. Ah! Always wanted to see those two games coming closer together. Hey, hello, what's up? Welcome to my my personal party. I saw you uh, popping into Nami's chat earlier. So. <clears throat> Um, man, this tutorial is going really slow. <laughs> Promote a capable man from your court to take command in Petrodava. The family choice trees. is yours. Though the ruling family and other prominent nobles, characters on the family tree can be browsed, promoted into office, married, assassinated, and more. A character may be promoted to a governorship. 
by selecting his portrait and then left clicking governorship. You can promote someone to governorship by clicking his portrait and left clicking governorship. Select the portrait of a suitable noble to promote. He is the high king. I don't think he'll be uh, he'll be governing much. Oh man, I already got all DLC. Yeah, I, I uh, popped out of out of nummies. I, I was so hyped for this. Sorry, sorry, Lau, for missing your uh, hello. What's up? <laughs> Control. Control is a measure of your mastery of politics, your power over the elite. It fluctuates as your family members engage in political intrigues. Combined with dominion, it defines your family's overall power. Current control, 600 out of the 1200 tribal chiefs. Power, respectable. Okay, so I guess this has to be like... Neutral, adopted... There are bastards! Oh my god! God, yes! Sorry, I cannot pick up him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. More CK into my total war. More CK into my total war. Hell yeah. Thank you. Alright, so I, obviously the High King will not be able to govern a city. Oh my god. Okay, I can't see what this is, Dominion, because there's this freaking screen in front of my face. So I guess we need one of these. Uh, how do we see if it's a suitable candidate? Master Planner, that sounds good. That's yeah, that's that's the one we need to assign? Cool. You are now the governor. Excellent. An excellent choice and not a moment too soon. Your man in charge can begin to issue edicts that will placate the population. Edicts are tied to the governor and no longer to holding a province. <laughs> this game is getting better by the minute. The great astral shall be keeping me awake through the day. <laughs> oh man, Maximus, go to sleep, man. Oh, thank you, Echo. Thank you so much. Thank you for dropping by, man. Thank you for dropping by. <laughs> Quickly check if you still have your wallet. I can give him the boot. <laughs> oh man, cool. Oh shit, I should do the edict thing. Issue an edict to Dacia. Yep, I don't have the entire province. Edicts are tied to governors. Yes. As they should be. CA, my, my thanks for this. This is cool. Okay, so it doesn't matter which edict I choose. Okay. Judgment of water. Probably judgment of water. Good. Now let us see how the people of Petrodava respond to the olive branch we have offered. We offer an olive branch. <laughs> I go. <laughs> Edict split up. Oh yeah, the Imperium is going to be more, more of an issue if you can, because you can only provide like what one Edict per Imperium. So hopefully, hopefully it's more as well. Cool. That's it? 
That's it? You you just leave me there? Let's repair these buildings because you know. Convert into bone carver. Smithy. Moneymaker, what's up, man? I am browsing through the tutorial to see what's what, and oh my god, this this game is going to be this game is going to be good, man. This is insane, insane, I tell you. For who? The people go hungry, chieftain. With the capture of Petrodava, there is no longer enough food to go around. Increasing hurt. food production is vital if a revolt is to be avoided. Father Safrax, Scarillo, member of your uh, sired, an illegitimate son. This may be awk awkward. Oh man. The, we are consuming more food than we are capable of producing. People are starving and tensions are high. Oh shit. Chief of food surplus, yeah. People go hungry and if nothing is done, their problem will rapidly become ours. Ease the food shortage to fill their bellies and calm their thoughts. Yep, I'm just working There's been through. sufficient growth in Petrodava to expand the settlement. A farm may be constructed there to alleviate the food shortage. I'm just working through the tutorial myself to see uh, if I encounter anything new, obviously I'm not new to Total War, but I'm going. I'm just working through the tutorial to see if I encounter something new. Uh, Petrodava has space for new construction. Set it, set, see to it that a farm is established there. Such development will ensure a stable food supply for the people. For most people, a village is their whole world. In those days, yeah, pretty much. Conditions, bad spring. Um, judgment of Wodan. And we'll maintain until commanded. There's food shortage, we know. There's a population surplus, we know. Right, so. Ooh. Construction site, secret ground, well, artisan, farmstead. That's it. Oh. Hello, Doge. Come say hi to viewers. Hello. Say hi to the viewers. No? Oh, you don't want to say hi to the viewers? Oh, she said a hi a bit. Oh, man. She bumped into my arm, that almost made me construct the wrong building. Uh, the said it is. Our growing power allows us to field more armies, Chieftain. Let us take advantage and recruit another general. Alright. I don't know how they managed back in those days with no astral seer. <laughs> they managed better because my province management sucks. <laughs> Uh. Wissima Power Monk Fearless Warrior Oh yeah, we definitely need a Fearless Warrior What's a Relentless Attacker? Ooh, we definitely need a Relentless Attacker Hell yeah An excellent choice this man can muster a second army to defend our territory and people. Cool. Go to Jepidia, to the south. Continue to support the Ostrogoths. This cannot be tolerated. Oh, the Jepidia to the south. Continue to support the Ostrogoths. This cannot be tolerated. Capture their capital and stem their ruling class as a warning to others. Not to side against us. Ready for orders. Okay, so I need to recruit a new army. 
and then destroy the Japedia. Oh, yeah, they have two villages. I, I see what you want, game. I see what you want. Death in battle? There is no finer ending. We need good fighters. Come, fight for us, lads. There you go. Hey! All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Um, because I want my first part to be part of the YouTubes, the first part of the celebration, uh, the first few hours I'm going to take breaks. Um, I'm already way over because this game is so awesome, but I will take my first break right here enable uh, To enable me to vod it and everything uh, so go stretch your legs take a drink go to the toilet do whatever you need to do and I'll be back in three to four minutes with more Attila Total War.